My ambitions when I was younger were to have a women's wear store on Savile Row. Hi, I'm Phoebe Gormley. I'm 22 years old and I'm the founder of Gormley & Gamble, which is the first women's only store on Savile Row. At school, I was just obsessed with textiles. I had the most amazing textiles teacher called Mrs. Greaves and she was fab and she just let you like in all of your free periods you could come in and just use and use and use all of the workrooms all of the machines i started interning around savile row when i was 15. every summer i'd come back learn more learn more learn more couldn't get enough and eventually went off to university studying costume design and making with a specification in tailoring and after my second year of paying £9,000 a year, I thought I could learn more on the job than by staying at university having one hour of lectures a week. So I dropped out of university and spent what should have been my final year of tuition fees on starting the business, hence the gamble behind Gormley and Gamble. And since moved to Savile Row when I was 21, being the first women's only store on the street, and have an amazing team behind me, and it's a privilege to do what I get to do every day. So day to day, my job is always different and always really varied. Some days I'm responsible for taking all the bins out, making tea for everyone, making sure all my girls are happy. And other days it's meeting a chief executive of a global bank and completely redoing her wardrobe. That's the great thing about being a founder is that I think you get to wear so many different hats. I find confidence through a support from my amazing team and I know that when I'm doing a good job they do a good job and they tell me I'm doing a good job. There are times, as with all women, where you think, oh I'm not good enough to do this, I don't deserve to do this, but I think you've just got to keep persistent and not let anything stand in your way. The best advice I've ever been given is not to let the distance between where you are now and where you want to be terrify you, but just let it inspire you. And to act as if there was no failure and you knew you were going to be fine in the end. So if you knew you were going to be fine, what would you do now that could change everything? If I could go back and talk to my teenage self, I would say, don't worry about a thing, because it's all going to be fine. Let's just enjoy the ride.